Hey there, welcome to LSAT Demon Daily. I'm Eric Johansson, a teacher and tutor with LSAT Demon. With me is Nathan Fox, one of the co-founders of LSATdemon.com and the weekly podcast, Thinking LSAT. We have an email from Anonymous. I started studying for the LSAT two months ago with a diagnostic of 155, parentheses, not a cold diagnostic per se. I took it after a week of Demon Basic. I'm now scoring consistently in the mid to high 160s. Games is by far my worst section. My undergrad background is in philosophy, so LR is pretty intuitive, and RC has improved significantly. I was originally planning on taking the June exam, but now I'm thinking of taking the August exam, cutting my losses with time I've invested into games, and concentrating fully on LR and RC until they're near perfect. Does this seem reasonable? Or should I kick it into gear on games to take advantage of the automatic minus zero that people can eventually consistently reach? Just not sure I can get there in time. I'm hoping to apply this fall, but I've totally bought into your general philosophy of doing it well rather than fast, both on the test itself and the admissions process more broadly. If it matters, I'm graduating from college this semester. I currently have a 3.82, but I'm on track for a 3.84 or 3.85 after these final classes. My goal score is just the highest that I can possibly get. Thanks. Love the podcast. Anonymous. What do you say, Eric, to a student like this? We're getting a lot of these emails. I mean, we mm-hmm. have been since the games were announced to be departing. Mm-hmm. But especially within the last couple of weeks with registration deadline for June coming up, a lot of people asking the same question. Do I try to squeeze in, get the games, or do I just say, hey, screw it, games I don't connect with, let me go on? Um... I don't see the problem with continuing to stick with games for a little bit longer. Two months, there's still some progress that you can make. You might be getting close to unlocking something where you really start to connect with these games. And I don't think I don't think the opportunity cost for a student like Anonymous is that great. It's like, how much are you really giving up by s- drilling a couple games a day? Were you going to spend that time drilling an RC passage instead? Because I've seen my students' dashboard scores, and I'm I know that they're probably not spending that game's time on their RC passages. So yeah. I wonder about the opportunity cost. Um, yeah. I would say, however. <laughs> If you're high 160s, touching the high 160s with games as your worst section, you're pretty strong at LR and RC. Yeah, pretty strong. But pretty strong doesn't mean that it will be easy for you to get to perfect or near perfect, which uh, Anonymous says is what they're going to shoot for. LR is their best section, it seems like. So the new test starting in August is going to have two sections of LR instead of one. Uh, Mm -hmm. No games, which is currently their worst section. I think I would just probably say it doesn't even matter. Like if you just want to give up on the games, fine, but you better keep studying LR and RC because August is going to be here before you know it. If you decide that you want to um, hopefully take a shot at the June exam, one strategy would be just go ahead and register. You can always withdraw up to the day before the test. You can withdraw with uh, no penalty. You don't get your money back but it doesn't count as one of your attempts, doesn't show up on your record that you were ever even registered. It's uh, kind of like the, the fortunate are able to do that. If you've got the resources, you could go ahead and just register anonymous and consider it an option to take the June test if your practice scores are where you want them by the time the June test rolls around. And again, with two months to prepare for that test, I mean, some people make it. I, I My whole LSAT prep personally, I did games for six weeks approximately, and I went from two perfect games in 35 minutes to all four perfect games in 35 minutes. Not everybody's going to be able to make that kind of a leap in that amount of time, but you've already been studying a bit and all that work, you know, might pay off at some point. We just see people all the time like they they've been stuck at two games, stuck at two games. And then next thing you know, three games. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a big boost to my score. And then sometimes they're at a plateau for a while, three games, three games, three games, but then boom, four games. Oh, wow. And then, you know, you you realize how easy the, the games can actually be once you're doing it properly. So 
maybe a hybrid approach would be in order for anonymous if you have the $215 to spare, you could register right. for the test and just consider it an option. Yeah. I would also ask, do you enjoy the games? You said that it's mm. your worst section. That doesn't mean you don't enjoy the puzzles, enjoy the challenge of them. And if you find it amusing to drill a couple games per day, then keep doing that. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, I was I couldn't do it in time, but I knew I could solve them. I, I never looked at them and was like, oh, these are totally impossible. And if you look at them right now and you think these are totally impossible, then yeah, just go ahead and take the test in August and beyond because the games will be mm -hmm. gone forever. Maybe they'll be gone for now. <laughs> um, if if you look at them like I did and go, oh, well, you know, I I run out of time. I, I don't know how I could do this quickly but i can certainly see how they're solvable and i never hated it i always kind of thought oh this is an interesting little challenge i can read it i can understand it i know what they're asking me i'm just not able to find the answers quickly enough well that's yeah that's definitely that's a good point eric that's that's the kind of student who is yeah. most likely to make that leap in uh, yeah. just a couple of months yeah i had some time to kill in between classes today and i did a logic game <laughs> sitting, sitting on a bench outside on campus. I was like, oh, I'll do a logic game. Nerd. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> guilty uh, as charge. <laughs> yeah, and so am I. And that's um that's exactly the type of people who I have seen be very successful in the law are the kinds of people who graduate from here and then come back and go, Hey, can I do you have any logic games I can work on? Because they you just have decided that they're fun puzzles that you mm -hmm. enjoy solving. Yeah. Thank you, Anonymous. Email daily at lsatdemon.com if you'd like to ask us a question or share some LSAT or law school admissions news. Thanks for listening.